In today's video, I'll teach you how to make a car TP. I'll join a game like Vehicle Legends for today's video. My executor of choice is of course Electra. If you don't know how to get Electra, there'll be a video on the top right of the screen. Alright, so first you'll need to load into the game, and trust me, this type of script is definitely not difficult to do. Alright, once we have loaded in, we can spawn our car and we can open up Dark Decks. We can turn on Click Part to select, and if you do not have it, you'll have to search for the car manually. Once we have found the car, we can take the model and copy the path. Also, we can make a mental note of what the primary part is. This will make sense later. For us, the primary part is weight. Because our primary part is weight, this is also what we'll be using to teleport. Okay, let's make the script. Back in our executor, we can say local player car is equal to, and then what we copied earlier. But as you'll see, it says get service workspace. That is perfectly fine, but I will just make it easier to read and I'll say game.workspace. Now for the name. Obviously, if we give this to our friends, then it will not work and they would have to change the name every time, so we'll fix that. If there is a dot, then your name, remove that and put a square bracket. In the square brackets, we can put our name. So game.players.localplayer.name. Now this would be good if the car name was our username, but the car name is our username apostrophe s, then car. So what we need to do is we need to add that in. And in the script, we can add two full stops to indicate that we are adding. And then we can add a quotation marks. And in the quotation marks, we can put apostrophe s car. Okay, so now if we print it, we should get the car name in the console. As you can see, it is working. We can now make our function. We can name the function teleport car because that is what we are doing. And then we can add an end at the end because it is a function. Inside the function, we can put player car colon set primary part C frame and then brackets. But what are we teleporting with? Obviously it's our C frame, but it's just a name. So I'll put the C frame in lowercase in the function brackets. Then I'll add it in the set primary part C frame. In the video, I put cframe.new, but I was just testing stuff and obviously that would not work. So just add cframe. If you're confused, I get rid of it later, so don't worry. Now we can call the function. We'll type in a new line, teleport car, and then brackets. Inside the brackets, we can put the cframe. Now remember when I told you to take note of the primary part, well, this way we'll need it. I'll copy the cframe of that and paste it in. This can also work with humanoid root part C frame, but primary part works best as that's what we're actually teleporting. Now this actually where you need to put the C frame dot new. We can put it in before our C frame, just like this on screen. Don't forget the brackets before and after. Now if we execute the script, you'll see that it automatically teleports us to where we want it to be teleported. And you can now mess around with adding more teleports and a way to something. Maybe you can even make it complete a race for you. I've seen a lot of auto farms recently that just teleport you in a loop while you try forward. Well, that's what we can also do with that. All you need to do is put it in a while loop and specify the time. I put in two seconds and every two seconds I'm getting teleported back to where I originally was. Anyways, that is all for this video. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, such as maybe a vehicle speed boost or something similar to that, make sure you leave it down in the comments and stay creative. I'll see you guys in the next video.